Hey yo everyone! Let's take a closer look at musket units, starting with the Imperial Arquebusier. The Imperial Arquebusier are a heroic era 4 star musket unit and cost 270 leadership. They are one of two options in the heroic era if you want to take a musket unit into battle. Their defining trait, the fire by rank, sets them apart on the battlefield since it allows them to do very high consistent damage. So let's take a closer look at them. Imperial Arquebusiers have three traits. The first one is firearms. This is just that they carry a firearm weapon. With it, they do excellent damage and armor penetration, but at the expense of accuracy. Their defining trait, as mentioned earlier, is the fire by ranks. This gives them the unit order volley fire, where the unit will form up into ranks and fire in rounds. The last trait, poor shots, is a negative trait. It describes the unit's poor accuracy with their firearms. Formations that can be used are the standard dispersed formation. For Imperial Arquebusiers, this is mainly to avoid concentrated fire from other ranged attacks. The second formation is the three ranks formation. This is a type formation of three ranks that is great for small areas, concentrated fire, and the basis for the volley fire unit order. For unit orders, the first is attack area. You simply tell the unit in which direction to attack and they will fire in that direction until you tell them to do something else or they run out of ammo. The second unit order is the volley fire we have been mentioning. Volley fire is the same as attack area, but beefed up. For volley fire, they form in the three ranks and alternate firing between the ranks. This means less soldiers will be firing at the same time, decreasing the burst damage, but it will have them firing in a sustained volley. This will increase the sustained damage. This unit order is excellent for defending as it leaves little room for an attacker to push forward since there is constant cover fire from the Imperial Arquebusiers. There are two veterancy lines available for the Imperial Arquebusiers. Before you level them up, they will have the stats that you see on the screen now. Before you follow either line, you will get a 2% increase to piercing damage. If you follow through on the top line, you will get a 15% increase to armor penetration. 12% increase to critical value, 24% increase to volley fire damage, 6% increase to piercing damage, 9 second cooldown reduction to volley fire, bullets can break enemies blocking status. The top line is defined by the cooldown reduction and blocking status break chance. This tree is great for helping to take down shield walls and shock troops. The main problem with the block break is that the Imperial Arquebusiers have excellent piercing damage. This means the ability does little to help them. Its main use would be assisting other units on the team. So let's take a look at the alternative. If you take the bottom line, you will net a 15% increase to armor penetration, 8% increase to critical value, 9% increase to health, 15% increase to damage dealt in siege battles, 5% reduction to resupply cost, 15% increase to damage dealt to cavalry, 20% increase to volley fire damage, 20% reduction to piercing damage, and the unit has a chance to fire extra rounds during volley fire. The bottom tree is all about the extra rounds chance during volley fire. The bottom line does reduce piercing damage, but it makes up for it with a chance to fire extra rounds. The bottom line has 4% less critical value to the top line, 4% less volley fire damage, and 16% less piercing damage, but the extra rounds focus on cavalry damage, and dedicated siege battle damage is worth the trade. This unit is not used in territory war, leaving that for tercios or fusiliers. So the bottom line is the choice that I would recommend. The extra rounds make the volley fire an even more deadly sustained damage. The doctrine that can be equipped to Imperial Arquebusiers are the Assassination Doctrine, Barber Surgeon's Doctrine, Breakthrough Doctrine, Epic Arquebus Doctrine 2, Life Doctrine, Piercing Doctrine, Piercing Damage Doctrine, Rare Arquebus Doctrine 1, Blunt, Piercing, and Slashing Defense Doctrines. If you want to see the description of the different doctrines, there's a link to Kong Hub in the description below. There is one slot that I do not have information on for the Imperial Arquebusiers. If you have an idea, feel free to share it in the comments down below. For an idea of what to put on your units, I run the Piercing Doctrine, Piercing Damage Doctrine, Breakthrough Doctrine, Rare Arquebus Doctrine 1, and the Piercing Defense Doctrine. If I had the Epic Arquebus Doctrine 2, 
I would swap out the piercing defense. Some notes for the Imperial Arquebusiers are that they are a musket unit. This means their range is not very far. They need to be kept close to the action, but seeing as they are not tanky, you will need help from ally units. Keep them behind shields or far back around corners to ensure that they do not engage in melee. A strong counter to musket units are archers. Always keep in mind high spots around you that an enemy can place archers on to pick away at your units. Imperial Arquebusiers are known for their volley fire, so use it. The cooldown is around 50 seconds for the volley fire, and they fire for around 30 seconds. As long as you don't have to cancel out your volley fire, you can sustain cover fire for a long time. Imperial Arquebusiers are a very high sustained damage dealing unit. They back up a shield wall very effectively. It will take time to figure out where to place them so that you can sustain fire while not risking melee engagement. But with a bit of practice, you will start shooting down warlords and units in no time. With that, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button and let me know down below. You can also let me know on the Twitch channel where we hang out and play some games. Schedule is on the Twitch page. You can also help me out by using my content creator code while picking up content creator packs on my game's market. With that, until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Yes! Oh!